A Friday night in Fayetteville and Baum Walker Stadium is the place to be. It's game two featuring Ole Miss and the number one team in the nation, the Arkansas Razorbacks, who go for the series clincher. Yeah, yeah Mason Molina, he's a little bit unorthodox. He only throws like 90, 91 miles an hour, but he throws a lot of fastballs, throws it up in the zone, Josh, and he gets a lot of swing and misses, throwing that about chest high. Coach make... Matt Hobbs in his sixth year. This ball hit pretty well to deep left center on the move as Wilmsmeyer, he looks up and it's gone. Andrew Fisher. It's a really great swing by Andrew Fisher. You're right. He's been seeing the ball big for a while and is a huge run for Ole Miss. And there's that really good changeup by Mason Molina. That got him swinging. Foul tip held on to by Ryder Helfrich. Arkansas. Goes the other way with the 3-1 pitch. And the lead off the board here in the bottom of the first. Extend it here. Up for ball four. Well, that'll extend the reach base streak. Four pitch walk and they are loaded up here to start the bottom of the first. Those picks. Four pitch RBI walk for Kendall Diggs and we are tied at one. Grounded off the pitcher's mound and back through. Aloy in to score. McLaughlin in to make it a two run base hit. Jared Sprague lot. It's just trying to command that pitch in the zone. A little jam flare to short, charging up on it and making the play. Braden Randall, it brings in a run, so it's a productive out for Helfrich and the Razorbacks. A really good Little flare running back and making the catch is Luke Hill and the side retired. Arkansas strikes big in the bottom of the first though. Four run frame. And blisters this through the five six hole. One out single. Pitch hit well into right field going back and it is gone. Andrew Fisher has homered in his first two at bats, and he cuts the Razorback lead to one. We talk about a guy who's seeing the ball big. That's Andrew Fisher right here. Again, that was a fastball at the very top of the strike zone. Not a bad. Helford tracking it, and he makes the catch. Those crooked numbers are what make a difference. And McLaughlin, who's been rock solid when he leads off the inning, and he does it again here. He's been aboard. 2-2, hit pretty well, but in position is Groff in center. And there's two away. A good job. Called strike three. Got him at the upper edge, and but now staying more towards the middle. And it's a leadoff walk for Ethan Groff. Look out, gets past. Groff took a look, but he'll hold up at second. The ability to pull that ball on the ground to move that runner up. Or do that. Hit in the air to center. Wilmsmeyer there. Stayed back on it so he could really load up into that throw, and he got him. It's all about the setup when you catch it in center. And you saw Wilmsmeyer take the little back pedal right before he caught it so that all his momentum was heading towards third. CC did a great job of staying behind that baseball. You can see it right here, just through an absolute strike. A bang, bang play, nice tag by Jared Sprague Lott. Way back in the day, Tom Amansky's baseball lessons and those players throwing the ball in a hop into a trash can. Meanwhile, this one hit to the track, but it was never any concern for Will Edmondson. Side retired. Smoke down the left field line and into the corner. Helfrich into second easily with a leadoff double. And the leadoff aboard for the third time tonight for the Hogs. High ball four.
And catcher's interference as Stovall tried to hold up his swing. Base is loaded. Hits this high in the air to right field. Sending Hughes back to the track. Makes the catch well deep enough for Helfrich to tag. Same thing for Wilmsmeyer who gets down to third base. Productivity from Vahiva Loy. First pitch, hard hit ball on the ground to first. Ross has got it, tags the bag himself, and the inning over. Arkansas does just that. New man on the mound for the Razorbacks, right-hander Cody Frank. Yeah, Cody Frank has just been outstanding out of the bullpen for Arkansas, like most relievers for this Razorback ball club. I did not know that stat. Oh, he hit him. Wow, that one got away from him. That's a changeup. Just, just. That is side, and the bases are loaded up. That's Cody Frank not even wanting to throw anything close. That's really close. High hopper. They'll go to second to try to get one. Relay to first, not in time. Scores a run, and it's a one run ball game. Ole Miss is challenging the out call at second base. And Arkansas is also challenging the slide at second base, whether or not it was legal. I wouldn't be surprised if it kind of sticks as the out is called at second base and then no interference. I mean, Fisher went in hard, but he did go straight into the bag. And there was some contact not only made on the foot of Stovall, but Fisher's head kind of makes contact with Stovall as well. So it looks like he's dragging that foot across the bag right there. The out at second base counts as an out, as well as the force play slide rule. The batter runners considered out. No run score in the inning. End of the inning. There you go. Arkansas comes out on the winning end of the challenge, and it results in a double play because of the offensive interference. Diggs goes the other way with that 0-1 pitch. Second time on base tonight for Kendall Diggs. Grounded to short. Randall loads up and makes the play. Taken off. Throw down to third. A BB from Trenton Lyons. Break the ball off the plate just a little bit. Line back through. Try to challenge Groff, and he won that battle. Trayson Hughes, first pitch, knocks it through the right side. Groff, after having to dance out of the way, will hold up at second. Called strike three. What a big pitch. That's his first pitch against LSU was 99. He backed it up with 98. He's got a new grip on his fastball. He was throwing a force. Chopper behind second. Aloy wins the foot race to the bag. And Arkansas out of the inning. Christian Fauci. Doesn't have to take the bat on his shoulder to reach here. Four pitch walk. 2 2 is driven to deep left center field. Second straight night for Bahiba Aloy going yard. Exit velocity, 105. Tried to sneak that inside, and the Dragon Bat got that one. McLaughlin trying to make it back to back. Against the wall, leaping up, making the catch. Ethan Leger, nice grab in left center. In one and two. In the Rebels lineup, first pitch, Braden Randall to short. Malloy fires a grounder over to McLaughlin, who's able to dig it out, one away. Lifted up to shallow right, riding the line. What a layout catch made by Kendall Diggs. How about Arkansas flashing some leather this weekend? 
for this inning, especially. Just a fister, and I think this ball's gonna land fair. Diggs dives for it, yeah, that's a fair baseball. Just a tremendous effort. You talk about a guy who's improved. Unbelievable, we talked about how much Bahiva Loy has improved at shortstop. Kendall Diggs. Aloy, this throw sails on him. Lines one to left center. You can't keep good hitters like Leger down for long. It's been their most consistent bat this year. Hitting him. High chopper to third. Sprague Lott will step on the bag and the side retired. Ole Miss leaves two. Turns and ropes one to left, laying out and it gets past Leger. Sprague Lott with a two out double. First pitch, knocks it through the hole, it's short. Green light given, Sprague Lott coming around. Two out RBI for Will Edmondson. Wilmsmeyer going out to the first pitch. Hot shot grounded to the right side. And Hill makes the play. Side retired. Yeah, Gage Wood, he's going to be consistently 93, 94 with that fastball straight over the top. And still ball going out into shallow right field. Got him swinging. Starting now three games in a row. Gage Wood says, doesn't matter to me. He gets the strikeout back to back. Retiring the Rebels in order. Yet another walk for Ben McLaughlin. Hit towards center, running in and falls in. Got him swinging. Morris able to get out of the inning. Two left stranded and we go to the ninth. Arkansas in front, 8-3. Three strikeouts in a row for Wood. And he's retired. Got him swinging. Really grinded that at bat out. The payoff, down low, ball four. He struck him out. Breaking ball for Wood and a new season high. Five strikeouts to put an exclamation point on an 8-3 win as the Razorbacks clinch the series. Yeah, really nice job by Gage Wood to come in to kind of slam the door on the Rebels. Again, Arkansas just doing an outstanding job of taking care of business at home. How about 20 wins in a row here at Baumwalker Stadium, Josh?